today's part two of our modifications for plus size bodies i'm going to show modifications for four, four poses the tree chair pose standing forward fold and sumo squat i'm noko mabo and i invite you to like this video subscribe to my channel by clicking the bottom right corner of the screen and if you like what i do at the end of this video scroll down in the description and check out the links the first pose that we're going to modify is the tree pose. This is your tree pose. So typically we bring the heel as high as possible with the knee pointing sideways, toes pointing down. This could be challenging. So two options. One is to place your heel just above your ankle, but keeping the toes and knees pointing sideways. So your hips and standing leg up facing one direction and your toes and bent knee another direction. Now, if you want to work more on your balance, you bring your foot just between your ankle and your knee. Avoid placing your foot against your knee. It's better below the knee. With your heel pointing up, toes down, and knee sideways. Second position I'm going to show you is the chair pose. Chair pose typically we bend the knees and lengthen the arms, reach the arms up. What we're going to do is create more space by spreading the feet wider. And we can do the exact same thing, bending the knees, either reaching the arms up or placing the hands to heart center. When you come up, you can place your hands on your thighs and use your arms to bring yourself up. Third modification is for the standing forward fold. I'm going to use blocks. So if you have blocks, grab your blocks. This is your forward fold. Basically, we bent forward, placing the hands on the floor. So one option is to place your blocks on the floor. You can slightly bend your knees. The other option is to create more space by spreading the feet apart as wide as needed. And same thing, you can reach your shoulders down, you can slightly bend your knees, hands on a block on any edge of the block. As you become more flexible, you can change edge. And eventually you may be able to place your hands on the floor. Coming out of the position, I like to place my hands on my thighs and push against my thighs to come slowly back up. Third modification is for the sumo squat. This is the sumo squat. This is a deep stretch for your hips and maybe low back. And it's a challenging pose for a lot of people. So first, modification you can do is lift your heels because not everybody has the range of motion or flexibility in the ankles. So lift your heels. That's fine. If you have knee issues or you just simply are not going down, you know that going all the way down is not for you. What you do, you spread your feet apart, toes slightly out and slide your hands on your thighs and find a place where you can be stable and hold. So not exactly the same position because here you're going to use the strength of your thighs and here it's more for a stretch. But it's another option you can use instead of going all the way down. If you want to go lower, I can show you a third modification. You're going to have to do it against a wall. Your heels are going to be about a foot and a half away from the wall. You're going to start by placing your hands against the wall and lean back as you bring your hips down, shoulders against the wall, and you basically slide your body against the wall. And your hands are right here in the back at first, and then you may be able to bring them here. Coming out of the position, same thing, you're gonna crawl your hands back up. Today you learn four modifications to fit your body, and I would love to hear um, what you think so scroll down below, leave me a message, check out my links. Let's place our hands to heart center. From my heart to yours, with love, 
Namaste. See you next week for more yoga videos.